What is going on everyone? Give it thought back here today on this Friday for a bonus video to talk about some of the No Man's Sky leaks that have come out so far. Now, originally I didn't want to talk about this in one of my videos, and I understand that my videos have a very small reach, but in case someone didn't know about these leaks, I didn't want the game spoiled for them. I understand the urge to go check them out. Some people just wouldn't be able to help themselves, and it would ruin the game for them. But the more I thought about it, everyone has the right to check the game out early if they want to, so I thought I'd talk about it a bit. Okay, let's get into this. I guess it's been about a week ago now, a leaked copy was sold on eBay for $1300, and I'm pretty hyped for No Man's Sky myself, but I couldn't imagine paying that much for it. But it was bought by a Redditor named Damien, and he subsequently went to Reddit and started posting videos about the game, spoiling it for hundreds if not thousands of people. Now keep in mind that I have not seen this footage, nor do I want to, but in Damien's analysis of the game, he noted several bugs and crashes throughout, and not just one or two here or there, but that they happen quite frequently. And the biggest thorn in my side about this whole thing was that he reached the center of the universe in 30 hours, or so he claimed. When I first saw that bit of information, my heart just dropped. I was expecting this vast 100 plus hour journey to the center of the universe, where once you got there it was like you had climbed Mount Everest or something. But according to him, again, it just took 30 hours. So in effect, the whole situation sounds pretty grim. Just the fact that the game crashed multiple times is enough for me to be kind of skeptical. But there is a light at the end of this tunnel, ladies and gentlemen, because there is a mounting pile of evidence that he is not playing the final version of the game. On Reddit, there is a list that details multiple reasons why this is the case. And I wanted to go over a few of them with everyone, just so they're not too panicked. So, the first one I wanted to mention was that the planets are way too close together in his analysis of the game. Again, I have not seen this, but according to most people that have, the planets in this leaked footage are far too close together and it sort of looks like a demo version of the game. And the reason it would be like this in a demo is because it would be easier for the player to check out more planets in less time, just to get an impression of what they're going to buy. The next oddity about this leaked footage that I want to mention is that upgrading the multi-tool apparently happened backwards. In case you didn't know, the multi-tool is the little gun slash mining apparatus that you carry around with you at all times when outside of your ship, and apparently upgrading that happened backwards. I don't exactly know what that entails, but it seems like a pretty big mishap to happen on the final version for the game. The third weird thing that happened in this footage is that all the fuel obtained by the player was free. Of course, this sounds great in theory, but how could the game function if all the fuel was free? Sean Murray has said in multiple interviews that fuel is required for everything from your gun to your suit and of course your ship. So if it was free, there would be a big part of the economy of the game that just didn't make sense. As far as I'm concerned, this is one of the biggest red flags that this footage is not the final version of the game. It just doesn't make sense. And the fourth thing, which is another big red flag for me, is that every planet he has visited contains some degree of life. If you watch my video on whether or not we will find intelligent life in No Man's Sky, you will understand why this is such a big deal. Apparently there is like a 1 in 1 million chance of even finding life, aside from plant life that is. And for this guy to get lucky that many times in a row is just absurd. But there is one more thing I wanted to mention on why this footage isn't the final version of the game. In almost every interview he has done, Sean Murray has said that it takes hundreds of hours to reach the center of the universe. And keep in mind that that is plural, hundreds. And for the guy to do it in 30 hours just seems impossible. Unless Sean Murray is flat out lying, there's no way this is true. Damien may have gotten a shorter build of the game where you can get to the center easier. That would make it a lot easier for people to sort of preview the game. And it makes sense. Because when you look at all these discrepancies in one place, all signs point to this game not being the final version. I do have to give the guy credit though. He did take all his videos down shortly after posting them at the behest of Sean Murray. Which is pretty nice for us and Hello Games. But I think since then a few other copies have leaked, so expect more footage to pop up before Tuesday, when the final game officially releases. My advice on this is to stay away from it, experience the game in your own right. Or at least wait for reviews to come out to make the decision on whether or not to purchase it. Just don't give the people that leak these games more publicity than they deserve. And I think that's where I'm going to end this video. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the video I did yesterday. 
in that one, I went over the trophy list for No Man's Sky that got released, and talked about some of the science fiction references the trophy names had in them. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's been pretty nice seeing all these new subscribers lately, so to everyone that newly subscribed, thank you. Alright, that's about it for me everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, give thought to everything. Thank you.